Hi, this is Habiba. In this session, we are going to discuss the sample size criteria for smart PLSM. PLSM obtains solution with a small sample size when model comprises many constructs and a large number of indicators or observed variables. PLSM algorithm uh, that we, run, uh, we can find in the uh, calculate uh, toolbox and the PA consistent PS algorithm. These both compute measurement and structural model relationship separately instead of simultaneously. Algorithm compute partial reg uh, regression relationship in the measurement and structural model by using separate ordinary least square regressions. PLSM even obtain the solution and methods such as CBM SEM is uh, develop uh, in this uh, inadmissible uh, solutions or do not converge at all with complex models and in small sample sizes and it does not take into account whether the data originate from a common or composite model population scholars uh, have uh, falsely and misleading taking advantage of these characteristics to obtain solutions using extremely small sample size even when the population is large and accessible without, without much effort. This practice has unfortunately tarnished the reputation of PLSM to some extent. Like other multivariate methods, PLSM is not capable of turning bad or non-representative sample into a proper one to obtain valid model estimations. PLSM can certainly be, uh, can certainly be used with smaller samples but the population's nature determines the situation in which the small sample size are acceptable. Assuming that other situational characteristics are equal, the more heterogeneous the population, the larger the sample size needed to achieve an acceptable, acceptable sampling error. In, if basic sampling theory guidelines are not considered properly, then even a smart PLS give questionable results. And in order to determine the required sample size, researchers should rely on power analysis that consider the model structure, the anticipated significance level, and the expected effect size. And uh, here at will have uh, documented power tables indicating the required sample size for a variety of measurement and structural characteristics. Cork and Hadai in 2018 suggest that uh, inverse square root method and the gamma exponential method are two new approaches for minimum sample size calculation. PLSM offers substantial potential for analyzing large data set including secondary data which uh, often does not include comprehensive substantiation on the grounds of measurement theory. So we get to know that for uh, even there is a facility of a small sample size in uh, uh, PLSM uh, but even this uh, sample size selection depend upon the context of your study and uh, the more heterogeneous the population the more sample size you need otherwise you might get the uh, results which are not true representation of your population uh, thank you for this session in the next session we are going to discuss what is the distribution assumption for smart PLSM thank you